Hi guys! So in today's video I'm going to be using similar colours to those I was wearing in my last video because people requested a tutorial on the look but I really wanted to use something nice and dark on the lips this week. So here's a similar look using similar colours but it just has a tiny bit more to it. So because I'm going to be working with a lot of mattes on the top lid, we're going to start with a primer and a wash of a cream coloured eyeshadow just to make the blending easier. Then I'm using my Tartlet palette and I'm first going in with the colour Force of Nature on a big blending brush and you don't need to be too precise here, you just want to run that colour through the socket. As always, I'm going to be using a nothing colour, so a colour that's similar to the colour of your skin tone. Even your regular face powder will do, but you just want to take that over the edges of the eyeshadow just to make that blend into your skin colour seamless. Then we're going in through the socket again on the same brush, but this time with the shade Dusty Rose from Anastasia Beverly Hills. Or if you want to stick to the same palette, you can always use Natural Beauty from the Tartlet palette, which is actually what I was wearing last video. Then going down a blending brush size to an E25, you want to pick up a darker shade. Uh, so from now on you want to stick to shades that have a hint of purple to them. So I'm going to be using Best Friend and then I'm just taking that again through the socket but this time in a more controlled area. I'm still really into going all the way through the socket with the darker shades instead of just keeping it to the outer corners like I usually would. So I'm taking that all the way across and then I'm bringing it onto the lid either side as well to give it that nice kind of defined, I, I almost want to say spherical kind of shape. It just gives just a nice level of dimension to the lid. Then going in with an even darker purpley toned eyeshadow, this one is Bombshell. We're going to go and do the exact same thing we just did with Best Friend, but just kind of emphasising that shape even further. Even though most of my lid gets covered up by liner later on, I still want to try keep it nice and bright there. So I just added a bit of Bobbi Dazzle from the Vice 3 palette right in the centre just with my finger. Next I lined my lid and I'm using a clay pot from Tarte in the shade Blackened Plum. I mentioned this in my current favourites video and I am still very much obsessed with it. It is the only liner I've been wearing recently. After that I applied a bit of mascara and then I highlighted underneath my brow with my Merry Luminizer. And I know I use the same highlighter for everything but this works especially well with this look. Uh, because it has a lot of gold in it, it's really going to help that purple stand out and it's really going to pick up all the purple tones in the eyeshadows as well. Next I'm just applying some primer underneath the eye in the inner corner area because I have loads of um, like annoying texture there nowadays which makes detail work there really hard to do unless there's a bit of something for the product to cling to. Next I use an angled brush and I created a tiny little point extending from my lash line. Since the liner I used isn't matte, I wanted to continue with that underneath the eye as well. So this is Rosette by Anastasia Beverly Hills which has a nice bit of shimmer to it. So then I smoked it out underneath the rest of the eye, adding a bit more colour as I went if I lost any of the intensity I wanted. And then I went over with a tiny little bit of the clay pot again, right up underneath the lash line and then I blended that out too for that nice gradient effect. Picking up that Mary Lou again, I also applied that right in the inner corner just above the little um, point that we created and I also took it round and up onto the inner corner on the lid as well. Then I added some mascara to the bottom lashes and then added some false lashes on top as well.
Moving on to the lips, I first lined them with a lip liner and it doesn't really matter if it doesn't match, it's just kind of like filling in between the lines. It's just nice to have that guideline. So then I filled it in with Anastasia Beverly Hills Liquid Lipstick in Potion, which is just oh, such a gorgeous colour. Then I was just about to start taking photos and I saw the Kat Von D instructions from her contour palette, they were just on my desk and the face chart has a cute little star underneath one of the eyes and I was like, yes, I need to add that. I basically looked like some kind of sorceress or witch or something anyway, so a star is definitely what we needed here. But then that's it. I really hope you enjoyed this look. Make sure you hashtag Emma Pickles on Instagram so I can see your work and your recreations and things. And thank you for watching.